Hi, my name is Matthew. I attended the Canada Study Abroad trip for the class Social Autopsy. I think it was a really great experience, and I really just want to say thank you to Dr. Judy Ginshaft and Mr. Greenbaum for assisting financially, um, so I was capable to go on this trip. I don't think I would have been able to without that, so I really just want to start off by saying thank you for that. Furthermore, uh, the rest of the video is kind of moving in a chronological order. It's going to move kind of fast, so just try to keep up with what you're seeing and what I'm saying. Thank you. I honestly think what surprised me the most about Montreal and Quebec City was the amount of French speakers. I originally thought I'd hear more people speaking English, but I was wrong. A huge surprise, which is very different from the United States, or at least I feel compared to Florida, is the numerous amounts of public and modern art displays. The architecture of the cities felt very old, but alongside the many new developments, there were uh, really modern designs and murals all over the cities. It felt modern, hip, and young, uh, which is a very big contrast. I feel like Florida's a little bland, or the U.S. in general. Uh, it was an amazing contrast in culture uh, alongside history, including the basilicas to the mural street festival. Uh, it's very rich in history and culture, which I feel is a little less present, especially in Florida. One of the largest distinctions between Montreal and Quebec compared to the U.S. was the very heavy presence of external cultures and architecture. French Canada, as we call it, has many different influences in architecture such as Victorian, Gothic, and then there's French, English, Roman. In the U.S., I also believe that another stark contrast was the very, very public displays of religion, such as extremely large, beautiful, historic basilicas that felt like they almost consumed the cities. We actually visited St. Anne Basilica, also known as the Healing Church, which brings people from all over the world to pray for healing. We also visited a 400-year-old monastery that now has public displays. It felt like religion tied in heavily with locals, tourists, and the history. A favorite part about studying abroad would have to be that I traveled in a group because it allowed me to visit and view the world through other people's perspectives as well. It was a very different experience than traveling with family who more often than not share similar views and experiences as you do. I also love the poutine and stand-up show comedy. It was very, very funny to hear native French Canadians poke fun at the USA, especially Florida. There were very funny jokes, especially Yankee Candle too. That was um very funny, <laughs> their perspective. Um, we also got a first-hand look at uh, the perspective of Americans through Canadian and more specifically French Canadian eyes. Um, it was very different. I also think that one of my favorite things about studying abroad was that it felt like I was consumed into a completely French community. All the signs were in French language and even ordering at restaurants seemed very difficult at times. Originally, I thought the trip was going to be easy peasy when it came to communicating around the local areas, but surprisingly, a lot of people didn't speak English at all. Luckily enough, we had a few French speakers with us. Also, I didn't think I'd experience a significant difference in cuisine, but there were a lot of great new dishes I have never seen before. I also was very, very surprised about how in-depth our experience was in Canada from food, nature, to rural urban life. We literally did it all. We literally did everything. And I think another great thing was to see the pride of the locals and how knowledgeable they were in the history and just recent events and everything. They, they really loved their country. This is a funny question, because obviously it's the weather. 
Uh, I just think Florida's a little too hot, humid, and randomly raining for some unapparent reason. Um, just take me back to Canada, please. And this reminds me that when we were in Montmorency Forest, uh, one of our instructors there, our tour guides, actually mentioned to us that a very noticeable difference that they had was that the snow was staying for longer than it usually uh, has in past years. Um, now at Montmorency Forest, a plan that they have is trying to build an all year round uh, snow park for Olympic teams to practice at and it will be the first in North America. And again, I really just want to say thank you to the Honors College, uh, also Dr. Genshaft and Mr. Greenbaum, my professors, and lastly, my classmates. It was an amazing send-off after my graduation, and I wish we could have stayed there forever. Uh, thank you, USF, and as we all know, Go Bulls! Et on se bat pour l'amour de fight Car la victoire à l'avant vous de la prochaine défaite Gagner ou perdre en vieillissant n'est plus pertinent Le plan c'est de progresser les gens vont en piétinant Ainsi dans ma vie qui fiche dans le sentiment Si tu traverses les